What's up, level up, and today we're going to go over how you can use an item in your party's inventory to affect other things on your level. So what I'll be doing today is be creating a key that opens a door and you can't open the door without the key. So I'll go straight into the eventing menu right now and I'm just going to scroll down to gate. Now I'll choose this one because this one's cool. I'll choose the very middle option and there we have our gate. I'll just name that event gate. Now I want to go over into our uh, settings up here for our database. I'm going to go over to items. I'm just going to change the maximum so I can make one more item. And I'm going to call this item key. There we go. And I'm going to select the key. So we've got the name key, the icon key, short description. Opens the door to the depths. I'm just going to change this from regular item to key item, it's non-consumable. Um, scope, none. Occasion, never, I get Oh, occasion, yeah, never. Um, and there we go, we've got our item. So we'll hit apply. We're just gonna go over to our event sequences here. Gonna go right click, create a, right click, create event, treasure chest. And inside, we're just gonna put the item key. Now over here, we want to click back on our gate icons and we want to create a conditional branch over here. So click on conditional branch and move over to the fourth and final setting and we'll have an item. So if item key, there we go. So if the party has key, yeah. And we'll create an else branch just in case. So what this function here is doing is checking if the party has a key. So. It's, does the party have the key? Um, and what I've got here is if they do, do this option. Else, do this option. So we'll just start off with the else. If the party doesn't have the key, we'll just have Harold saying something like, We need a key to get through here. If they do have a key, we're going to do a movement route to open the door. So set movement route. Uh, for this event, we're going to go turn left, right, up, I believe. Let me just double check that uh, image. So it's left, right, up. Yep. Alright, so the set movement route is going to be left, right, up. Um, and we're going to play a sound effect. Yeah, that one's good. So we'll play that sound effect. It'll go left, right, up, play another sound effect. So there, we'll play it, we'll play another sound effect, we'll make it item one, and we'll just end that there. And afterwards we'll get the part get him saying. Yay dingo! That is the most Australian thing I have ever said in my life. Yeah, after that he says, yay dingo! And then Fade out. No, we don't even... Just, yay, dingo. Done. And then we can have a new event page later, which says... Where's the door? Sorry, where's the gate? Like this. And it's only if... So I'll set a self switch new. Control self switch A. And if self switch A is on, after the parties use the key, then this will come up. Uh, so what you want to do is after the party uses the key, obviously you want to get rid of the key. So just after he says yay dingo, go change items, key, decrease one, and there we go. Yay dingo, you've got the open door. And then you can do whatever eventing you want to this door. All right, so let's test that out. All right, so here, oh. We want to make sure self switch A is on over here too, guys. So if self switch A is on, there we go. Alright, so here you can see we walk up to the door. We need a key to get through here. Come over here to the treasure chest. The key was found. Come back over to the door. Yay, dingo! And then there we have it. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my content then please subscribe, leave a comment and a like. 
Don't forget to click see more in the description of this video so you guys can have links to all of my social medias and that other lovely stuff like that. Once again, thank you guys for watching and happy game making.